Hello and welcome to another 1 vs 1 battle commentary, this time on a rather unusual map, the Amazon Confluence. I never played a 1v1 battle here before, to be honest, so this was really interesting for me. Uh, it's a heat map, so uh, your troops tire quickly, especially when uh, crossing the river here, over these uh, passages. Um, my opponent is uh, Goldilocks. We played uh, some 1v1 series from time to time on different maps and have very exciting games here. So I really recommend this to anyone to play uh, 1v1 games on different maps uh, against good opponents. That's the best way to um, get experience in the game. I play France um, with my standard army. You, it's quite chaotic, so uh, but I know it. <laughs> um, it's uh, it consists of three Polish, uh, three Swiss foot, uh, the 18th Regiment, uh, the Brave, uh, two Old Guards, three Voltiges, the Sixth Regiment, and uh, four Chasseur Cheval, and one. Chevalier Lancer unit and the classic general staff. Goalie played as Prussia. Um, we will see his army in a second when it's not hidden anymore, but I guess it's the standard one as well. I wasn't sure if he uh, goes uh, since the spawn is ho the whole area here. I wasn't sure if he sends troops over here as well, but splitting the armies uh, is quite well risky because you're in danger that your opponent has his full force on a different island and destroys your uh, your um, force you sent there with uh, higher numbers and you can't get onto the, the island anymore so he decided to deploy all his troops here on the on this main island and I sent my troops here as well. There are a lot of hills, so you have to watch the terrain pretty... Uh, yeah, it's very very important here. Um, you have to watch it in detail. Uh, so we see that one, two, three Prussian Fusiliers are here. One, two, and uh, so uh, three in the middle and two on his right flank, so five, what a surprise. Uh, some three foot guards, so he uh, brought the standard the standard Prussian build with Tuachis, Lances, two times and Brandenburg Uhlans, uh, but uh, instead of the militia he brought one more guard. Uh, so I move my troops over the river. He has a bit of an advantage because he spawned on the island already. Um, and I deploy over here. I have my Swiss foot here. Uh, so, and one old guard and the 18th regiment and the other old guard is over here with my Polish troops and two lights on each side. So why do I bring uh, Polish uh, and not just li line fusiliers or uh, Swiss foot? Um, Swiss fo the Swiss foot is a bit better in shooting. The Polish are uh, f f decent in shooting as well, but uh, a bit worse than the Swiss foot. But they are pretty strong in melee, especially in defense. Um, and the 18th regiment is just a bit better in shooting uh, than the Swiss foot, and a bit uh, has a bit more moral, and is also fine in melee. Um, so my with my build with the line uh, nine line infantry um, and the mix of line infantry units uh, of the, out of the different nations. Uh, you're very flexible in your tactics and reacting on the enemy's uh, tactics. Okay, 
the for teachers uh, deploy the stakes. I'm not sure what he does. So uh, maybe he rushes me. So I want to deploy stakes somewhere before attacking. Here in the middle, uh, he has this forest, but uh, it it's not that bad that he has a forest because uh, here is a hill, as you can see. He needed to deploy up here on the on the ridge of the hill to actually prevent me from going here and fight the forest. But he is standing down here, so that's fine for me. The uh, sixth generation model von Trilegere uh, came here. I wanted him to shoot my Voltigeurs while I deployed the stakes and I gave an attack order on the Prussian Fusiliers. The line of sight is not that great and I only killed one man and he killed four so that definitely worked better for him. Here is also a quite big hill and he has also troops in here. So I have uh, many uh, different alternatives now to uh, attack. I open fire here with the Voltiges. There's also a hill over here but I uh, slightly um, shoot over it. He see the, sees it now. He has suffered only five casualties. So I keep uh, him busy of reacting on my light infantry. He has two Prussian fusiliers in here so he could just uh, deploy them. But I, uh, that's also what I actually wanted him to do. He's he does it now, but I have a good position. Uh, his line of sight is not good. He is uh, far away, so if he spends ammunition on my uh, cheap Voltigeurs, that's uh, that's fine for me. He uh, saw that I moved troops over here, my old guard, one Polish, and deployed here. My sixth regiment is uh, on the hill still. Um, so he reacted on this uh, movements and uh, moved troops out of the center to his left and this is what I wanted him to do I wanted to, because I want to attack the center first you can see my deployment I'm sending my uh, troops which are good in shooting so the 18th regiment the old guard and one Swiss foot I wanted him to shoot the Voltiges which he did I think yeah he did. He uh, got a good volley off here uh, on the Polish, uh, 20 men dead. That's uh, not so good for me, but it doesn't matter. I also send in one Chasseur Cheval here, and I'm on the ridge already. He commits a, his uh, Brandenburg Ulans in a counter attack, or not yet. Okay. I had fire at will off and shot on a close distance now and charged the uh, uh, Prussian Fusiliers. He is prepared for that. He had all his Fusiliers ready to shoot my cavalry in the back and gives target orders now. Uh, that's bad for my cavalry, but uh, I only want to have them, uh, the Fusiliers, which have a great firepower ready, uh, busy, sorry. His Brandenburg Uhlans now charge uh, and I form squares with my old guard and my 18th regiment here on the hill. His guard, uh, he gave an attack order I think on the 18th regiment but here is the hill as I said so he can't, sh he can't shoot from down there. I also uh, use the motivation um, uh, ability uh, of my general on the old guard that uh, uh, improves the accuracy of uh, the infantry units um, by 10 points. So uh, when you use it on a guard, that's quite quite uh, <laughs> uh, useful. Of course, it's always useful, but on a guard, that's especially useful because they are also reloading very fast. And here, uh, I don't want to move in with my old guard that close because uh, his fusiliers are shooting and I still hit something but I'm not hit that much so since he has more units 
which are shooting me. I'm also attacking over here. The old guard and the Polish legion are targeting the musketeers uh, in closest range. My chasseur cheval are also here. I on, and now I move in. Another chasseur cheval comes here. The Voltiges took the ridge now, and I. Uh, see that he is busy everywhere so I send him uh, my troops my Swiss foot are still in reserve and uh, used as a backline I targeted the Brandenburg Uhlans but they uh, I couldn't fire a volley before getting charged but now they moved across the ridge and got shot by the backlines the 18th regiment uh, also retreats and the Voltiges here all fire on the Lancers. The Polish Legion is in square. My Chasseur Cheval here are still in the ranks of the Fusiliers. He formed squares and here I moved down here in the forest with my two good units and I'm shooting the foot guard square and again I take this position with my Voltiges which is pretty strong. I retreated over here because he retreated his li his line infantry here. So uh, he's deep in the forest now and has uh, more lines. But I saw that uh, his two lines shot. My 18th reg uh, sixth regiment um, targets the footguards, but they retreat, and I move closer uh, with my with my troops. I also send in my Chasseur Cheval. Uh, I don't want him to shoot my Chasseur Cheval while they are approaching, so I send in my Bruges to tank the shots of the other Musketeer unit. And there he moved some Fizzlies here, which would be uh, pretty good uh, if they stood here, but uh, down here they don't have uh, such a good line of sight. It's still fine, but uh, I move in very closely into the forest so they are not that effective anymore and my po uh, third Polish legion comes up here on the hill to protect me f against the Tovacis. I formed squares here against them and uh, he can't fire on me as he wants because my Chasseur Cheval are still in his rings. His uh, third footguard is here to help his, uh, help his left flank my um, Voltiges are still fighting the Prussian Fusiliers. I, uh, he stopped firing um, to save the ammunition, but uh, yeah, I did the same now. His footguards are in the first row now. My Polish are here as well. The last uh, full Lancer cavalry comes over here. But my back line shoots a full volley, and my last chasseur cheval, I still have my lances over here, um, are approaching to destroy his uh, the his uh, center and left wing, and probably even the general since he stood there, and I. I was very lucky and he got killed. This is uh, not that uh, if uh, or this wasn't that effective. Uh, I mean, I destroyed his uh, units, his foot, even his foot guards fled now with the general lost. Uh, I, this could have been made better here uh, with a bit more micro. My old guard got shot down and the Polish legion as well, but it wasn't that important. And over here I charged the uh, Fizzliers with my Voltiges. They were out of ammunition apparently. And there are no other units over here. He moved out his foot guards from this side and formed a square against my lances. And here I took this forest and he gave up the battle because uh, the loss of his general, his moral was just very bad. Uh, the um, only uh, unit which still 
was in good shape was the foot guard unit. So um, this was a, a an interesting game um, in my opinion. This is a map which is not seen very often. Um, so this is why I wanted to show you. And yeah, it's very hard to, uh, or it's kind of hard to uh, play against France uh, because of the moral problems I talked about in previous videos already. Uh, so you need to be very cautious. Uh, I mean, he played uh, three guards, so that was uh, he was kind of prepared. But yeah. Um, especially on this map you need to uh, watch the Terra uh, a bit better and he did not make um, make the use of his uh, five fusiliers uh, as he needed to to uh, fight back the powerful French cavalry and the old guards especially. So, uh, good game to Goldilocks and uh, thanks for watching. See you.